How's it going, guys? Welcome to Millennial Gamer. I'm your host, James, and welcome back to PlayStation 1 Demos. Demo number 39, right? Yeah, 39. Um, right, so I don't know if you watched the last episode, but essentially I'm re-recording this video um, because the, last, the footage from the last two episodes, as in the camera footage, just disappeared. I don't know where it is. I don't know why it's not on any of my devices. I don't know what's happened. First time anything like that's happened. So the last video, which I know was awful because the game uh, Sentinel Returns is just awful, awful game, my God. But anyway, in this episode, we're gonna be finishing off this demo disc. Uh, obviously I'm re-recording this, as you know, and we're gonna be playing Spyro the Dragon. Now, I could have just uploaded the footage of the game and the audio, uh, the mic, mic audio, but the, I, that would be doing a disservice to Spyro, I think, a real disservice, it's a great game, and I enjoyed playing the demo, so I've just decided to re-record the video, so join me as we play the demo for Spyro the Dragon. This demo disc has been absolute quality, and I, I feel like I'm just deja vu, because I've already recorded this video, but... Um, proper quality, this particular demo, with um, with Tomb Raider and Future Cop LAPD, which was really fun. Yeah, I've, I've, we got on, if we were to buy this demo disc with the thing, we got our money's worth. Anyway, it's Spyro time! Thank you for releasing me. Free the dragons in the artisan world, then seek out the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? That's all I can tell you. So, the first thing you immediately notice is that there's hardly any dialogue. Because this is obviously just in the making here. This is a game still in development. Um, or at least towards the end of the development. But, yeah, let's get back into this. Right, I'm going to be a lot more... Uh, f um, I'm going to pay more attention to the exploration because last time I played... I did tend to get a wee bit lost, but I am going to burn you. Where are you? Thing is, it's made me want to play this game. That's the thing, because it's so fun and so colourful. And I mean, just look at this game. It's so good. Um, I said, <coughs> obviously, I'm going to be re-saying a lot of what I said, but you won't know. That's the first time you'll see in this video. Um, but Spyro's movements are really um, spongy looking. I really like, I really like the way he moves. I love his animation. I think it's real. First of all, he's adorable. He's not a big scary dragon at all. But secondly, I just think his, his movements are really nice. Look, there's a dragon, look. Right, so yes. I also didn't, when I played it last time, I didn't complete the demo. Because I left it to go to the loo, and the demo goes off after a certain time, so... When it's idle. Where's Nasty? I'll torch him. Go after some sheep first. Those little creatures release butterflies, which Sparks the dragonfly eats. Sparks protects you. Yes, yeah, Sparks protects you. Yes. Just sounds like some guys from the office that, you know, we, we, we need some... Oh, God. You can't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Oh, thank God it didn't start me from the very, very beginning there. It's a bit dodgy that it's one and done there. Is there nothing here? Nope, there's nothing even here. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, this is, uh... It still looks great, I think. I think I've said before I've got a real passion for this type of game as well. Like, you know... The big polygons and games that people say look aged, which uh, you, you should know that I hate the words aged and the words dated. I hate those words. It's, they're too dismissive. They're not taking into account anything. They're not like putting something into context. So first things first, we are going to, where's the beginning? So I've got my, my bearings here. Oh yeah, we can go up there. There's a, there's a thing up there. Can we go up there from here? I believe we can. Yeah, there you go. And destroy. 
Fantastic. I'm still mulling over what game to play next, because um, obviously Toy Story's finished. So I'm still deliberating over what is next. And I think I might have chosen something. It's a PlayStation 2 game that I have not played. Like, ever in my, ever in my entire life. Well, let's follow this guy. And it's something that's really critically acclaimed. It's something that's seen as like a PlayStation 2 classic. Uh, yeah, here's a dragon. Silver. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers, crashing through... Oh, that. Oh, that. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's like eight dragons we need to save. I'm trying to remember. Oh, we just fell down then. Get burnt. Oh, we can also ram. Watch this. Oh, no, don't watch this. I banged into a wall. Yeah, get it. One thing I've been impressed with this demo disc is the amount of game that you get for it just being a demo. Like, you get a lot of game. Like, this is a whole, like, level. I mean, I know this, like, Spyro's broken up into sort of weird sections. It's not really levels, is it? I mean, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Spyro was like the, um... I mean, I don't know why I'm telling you this. It's very obvious for you. But he's the, he was the, um, other mascot for the PlayStation 1. The other one being, you know, Crash Bandicoot. That's really fun. Right, I'm going to be a lot more comprehensive. I got, when I played it last, I kind of got a, a little bit lost as to where I was because I wasn't sort of keeping track on where I'd already been. So we're not doing that. We're going to do it properly. But this, I tell you, I still think this game looks gorgeous. It's so... Colourful and I think it looks quite timeless. Personally, for me, I think it looks quite timeless. Right, we're going into this little glade here. We can... Yeah! We can ram! That doesn't take off health if we just bash into a wall, does it? I certainly hope not, because I just did it. And the music's so pleasant! <coughs> Right, out of the way, sheep. Get some sheep first. Oh, you're a dragon head, aren't you? How do I get, um... Yeah, there you go, first person perspective. Oh, look at that! Games seem to age better when they're more based on an art style than they are, like, realism. I feel like that's been the case. If you take games like Borderlands, which came out uh, around the same time as what? Like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, that kind of that kind of era. I might be way off there. Um, but Modern Warfare 2 and 3, the older games, you can you can see the age in those games. Um, still great games, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not writing on the games, but Borderlands has aged better because it doesn't look like it's aged at all. It looks like it could get made now with that style. In fact, there are many cell shaded games that look like that game. And when you look at games like this, with its, you know, its its cartooniness, it's the cartoon the, the cartooniness that prolongs the life of a game. I think, because if you take something like Siphon Filter, which I've played on the channel, you should definitely check that out. Um, oh, he's the one that takes us away after we're done. There are many more worlds for you to explore. I will take you to see them when the game is finished. Okay. Yeah, if you take a game like Siphon Filter, which is based on like realistic character models or something like Max Payne, you know, because they went for a very realistic look as, mu as much as you could back in those days, um, they, they look aged compared to games nowadays that are going for that realism. I mean, if you look at Death Stranding, for God's sakes, that just looks... It just looks real. It's just, it's just real. It's really happening. Okay. So I believe... 
We've explored as much as we can here. So we're going to go this way first, which is the Dark Hollow. Entering the Dark Hollow. I said to her beforehand, I love that it's like Spyro flies and then it's just one continual uh, flight path to the next area. I just think that's really cool, rather than a cutaway like loading screen. Right, get wrecked, frogs. <clears throat> oh, we need to bash those, they got shields. Right, first of all, first of all, first things first, come on. That's it, and we want to go up here. Still handles really well, you know? Still really handles, oh, oh, okay. I need a key. I got the key. Well, I actually don't have the key, that's the problem. But we can go over here and set fire to these boys. Yeah, get burnt. I hope you know what I meant by all that aging stuff. You're smart. You get it. You got it. Ooh, I don't want to get hit by you. And, uh, there you go. So you can't use fire on them because of their shields. So you've got to ram. You've got to get pure ramming speed. Let's talk to this guy. You see, it's so underdeveloped that some of it doesn't even have the voice acting. Those little creatures are wearing fireproof armor. Try an attack instead. Try the charge attack instead of your flame. Yes, yeah, so um, because this is the last video of this particular demo, um, you should definitely be. Um, you should definitely subscribe, as there's going to be new, a new playthrough coming up very soon. Very, very soon. And like I said, it's one I've... Oh, I hit all three of them in one go. That was awesome. It's a game I have not played before, and it is considered an absolute PlayStation 2 classic. Right, let's light these. Yeah, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Because that's what we do here. We play classic games. Games from back in the day. Millennial-style games, you could even say. I gotta say, this game is so fun. Oh, no. I kind of mucked that up, didn't I, folks? Right, let's try again. I don't want to let any of the demo go to waste. Like I said last time, I put the controller down to use the loo, and if you leave the demo idle for any amount of time, the demo goes off. Hey! That's an extra life, right? And it went off, so I ended the demo there because I didn't want to start... Because it starts you from the very beginning, obviously, and... You know, recording time is limited. Daytime is limited. So I had to leave it there. So, I really don't want that to happen in this playthrough. So I'm keeping on top of it. Man, the music is so pleasant. Love it. I do want to play Spyro, but I don't... It's one of the... One of the classic games I don't yet own. So... There is one in the town that I live in at the moment. I should just go and get it, really, and play it, because I've got the itch to play it. Okay, big enemies cannot be charged, but use fire. Can do, will do, gonna do. Burn! Do you get that reference? Saying burn... Or am I just alone in the universe? <laughs> right, back up the stairs. Going up the subway stairs. Yeah, I've worked out that to just turn the camera as I go now. Again, this is all something that's not going to be... Oh, okay. I think that's it. I think that's all we need to get from here. Because it's a pretty small area, right? Yeah, there's literally... I mean, there's literally nothing else. There's nowhere else to go, right? Oh, I love the music so much. Oh, no, there's a place down here. Look. See, I nearly left without even exploring. I had trouble getting past here last time because I I didn't know you could set fire to these guys because I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. Okay. What have I got to do? Burn their back? Hey! 
How do I get rid of you? Okay. Yeah, I burn you back! Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked. Burn you up the butt. That's what I did. Butt burning. Let's wait for this guy. I was trying to jog past him last time. I was trying to charge past him, but that, did, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, no. Messed that up. Muck that up. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, fam. There's no, no good yelling at me. There you go. You're down. You're done, though. I see. There's a dragon over there, look. And there's a key over there, so we can open up our chest. Use the triangle button to zoom in and look around. Uh, no, I want to continue. I don't, I've just, I just read that. Let's get that key. I got the key. I got the secret. I love that song. Do you like that song? So pleasant. So pleasant. Still the very uh, early days of 3D platformers, this as well. The king of this era. Which is obviously debatable, depending on what system you got. Personally for me, the king of this era when it comes to 3D platformers is, in my mind, obviously Super Mario 64. Which was the first playthrough I ever played on this channel. You should definitely check that out. Um, some old videos now, they're over five years old. Um... But I still believe that Super Mario 64 is the the cream of the crop when it comes to 3D platformers. I'd still play it now. It still feels good to play. I've got it on my Switch. And I've got it for my Nintendo 64, obviously. But let me know what you think. What's your favourite 3D platformer from this era? You've got a lot to choose from. You've got this, you've got... Um, Super Mario 64, you've got all the games from Rare, so like Donkey Kong 64, you've got like Conker's Bad Fur Day, uh, Banjo and Kazooie, uh, I think we're done here, so we are returning home. Um, Crash Bandicoot, obviously. What's your, what's your favourite from this era? It might be even a weird one. If any of you say Bubsy 3D, you're trolling. That's what that is. Don't think I don't know. Have you ever seen that game? Oh, that's that's a rough one, that one. I saw a clam or something. Where's the clam? There it is. Is it a clam? Get rammed. Yes. But yeah, I'd love to know. What's your favourite um, platformer? Or what's your favourite platformer in general? There's a lot of good um, indie titles that are platformers that just are just great. I don't know how many dragons we've saved. <laughs> I guess we'll find out soon. Um, I think we're done exploring here. I'm going to get some sheep just in case I've messed myself up here. I've already been down here. I have. It's the big dragon. Dragon D's nuts. Sorry. I had to say it at some point. we got Stone Hill. This place is not as big as I thought it was when I was last playing it. Am I just stupid? Well, we've already been down that way, so we're going to go to Stonehill. Stonehenge! It's like Spinal Tap. Entering Stonehill! Everything's still recording. We're still good. Total treasure, 186 uh, gems. That's pretty good. Okay. Music change. It's cool and funky now. I like it. As you can see, I have perfect dance moves. Perfect rhythm. <laughs> right, we got these ram head guys. And I don't like you. So you're getting burnt. Yes, get wrecked. Where's the other ones? There they are. Oh, we got into a ramming competition. That probably wasn't a good idea on my part, that. So one of the things that I didn't realise is that your health is the fairy, is the little, um, the dragonfly. That is your health. 
Um, confession time. Spyro was not one of the games I played when I was a kid. It really wasn't. Um, I was a Crash Bandicoot guy. Not that those two can be mutually exclusive. Oh, there's a locked um, box down here. Not that those two can be mutually exclusive. Okay, when you free a dragon or step on a dragon platform, you are saving your progress in the level. That's good to know. Um, we can open this, right? Didn't we get a key? Is the, does the key only work in the place that you're in? Huh. I didn't see a locked box in the, the other one. Either way, we're carrying on. It's not overly important. But yeah, Spyro was not one of the ones I had. I was a big Crash Bandicoot guy. Like I say, they're not exclusive. But that's just the game that I bought. And a lot of people I know played uh, this more than they played Crash Bandicoot. Was it like a Coke and Pepsi thing? Was it like a, you're either a Spyro fan or a Crash fan? Let me know. Uh, we're going down here first. Collecting all the gems. Yeah, so there's a dragon here. Get, get, get. Come on, Spyro. There you go. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get them all. That can't, that sucks. I wanted to bash them all in one big, one foul swoop. Whatever that means. Oh, I only got one then. There you go. Get burnt. Right, and there's a dragon here. I assume in the, the actual game, every time you rescue a dragon, they talk to you in some capacity. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. Its colour indicates the power to protect you. We literally just said that. I still didn't see how many dragons I got left. Music is really cool, though. Right, moving to this side. This is like a... a keep area, right? Still timeless. He really is. He really is. It's that whole art style. Yeah, get rammed. Oh, I can just destroy the clams with burning them. Oh, I need to keep an eye on. Right, so how many is this? Uh, this vortex will take you back to the artisan home. Wait, to the artisan home where you can enter the... Oh, God, I read that so stupid. This vortex will take you back to the artisan home where you can enter other artisan lands. If you want to continue exploring, then do not step in. Um, can we go down there? Is that a thing we can do? Yeah, there's like a, there's like a beach or something down there. Woohoo! Don't land in the water. Spyro don't like water. I found that out pretty early in this playthrough. <laughs> right, give me that gem. Oh, I want that gem. There you go. There's a tunnel here. Cave, even. And there's a key. And things to destroy. Ooh. I didn't know which way I was going, then. No way have I got a hundred and something gems already. 121 gems already. That's not bad. God, I hate seagulls. I live in a place where seagulls are in abundance, so I just can't stand seagulls. When I was a kid, um, my mom always used to, when we used to go on holiday, which was the twice in my entire life, might I add, we were very poor. Um, she would always take us to the south of England where there were beaches. And she'd always go like, oh, can you hear the seagulls, lads? To me and my brother. Like, that means the beach, that means good times. And she quite tried to equate seagulls with the sound of seagulls as like, oh, a good time is on the way. Like, we're about to have fun. It's not until you live amongst seagulls that you realise that they are wretched, horrible, gnarly creatures that you should hate. Brr. Right, I need to get some health now because I got rammed. Seagulls will tear open your bins. They will eat your leftover food. They will straight up steal food from your hand. They don't care. 
Right, give me a butterfly. There you go. In fact, there was this one time we got KFC in the town where I live right now. Uh, it was me and my mother and some other people, probably my dad. How he hit me. Get burnt. And I just had a nice big juicy delicious bit of chicken in my hand and I literally held it up like that just talking to my mom just you know blah 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 casual conversation and it straight up stole it from my hand like I was offering it to him sodden thing you never steal a man's KFC that's just a it's just a law it's just a rule right anyway this game <laughs> Uh, we can go up this tower here, so that's what we're going to do. You see what I mean? This is a demo. We're not playing the actual game. Such value for money. Okay, for the longest glide, press the X button at the top of your jump, and then press the triangle button to drop mid-flight. That stops you from over-gliding and falling off, like, the edge of the map, I assume. Okay, I assume it wants us to do a long glide over there. Is that a platform? Is there any other platforms I can get to? Is that a platform over there? I don't feel like it is. But I feel like it's trying to indicate me that it is. Maybe? No, it's just a bit of the scenery. Hey, we got to test it out though. But this is just a demo. And look how much content we're getting. We're getting so much. Like, I feel like I'm actually playing it. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I am actually playing it. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I feel like it's from the desk. The desk? The disc, even. Let's head back and do a wee bit more exploring. I still don't know if we're finished with the demo. I don't... Like, I think we go back to the balloon boy once we've got everything. There's one place we didn't explore, right? Was it this cave? Uh, no, we've explored here. Yes. So I think we're done with this area. I believe so. This is how I get back. Yeah, that's how I get back. And we went down here. So I think we've explored... This is just like a little glade area, isn't it? So... Hopefully there's nothing I'm missing here. So I think we're done with this area, which means we can technically get to the balloon guy and finish the demo, maybe? Maybe? Oh, I'm banging to the wall. Yeah, we've been in here as well. Is it going to... If I talk to her, can it tell us how many dragons we've actually... Oh, it didn't let us replay Dragon. That was weird. I've had a look around. There's nothing else for us to get. So let's try and talk to her to see if we can... I just want to know how many dragons i got left. Replay Dragon. It won't let me do it. <coughs> anyway, we're headed home. Returning home. 353 gems. Not bad at all. Ooh. That must be it then. Should try and find the guy with the... Uh, the balloon then. Which I believe is this way. <laughs> okay. There are many more worlds for you to explore. I'll take you when you finish... When the game is finished. Am I not done? Am I missing something? Now, there are many more worlds to explore. I'll take you uh, when when the game is finished. I think I need to literally unlock everything in order to complete the demo. So that means getting all of the, the chests and stuff. And it means getting um, all the stuff, basically. So we need to look around, really, because I 
think I've got all the dragons, which is what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to accomplish. Okay, do you know what? Because we've um, explored so much of the levels and we've got the dragons, and we've got the gist, I am going to leave it here. Um, that is Spyro. I, I feel like I'm ending it on my own terms now, which is good. But that is Spyro. Man, that's a, that's a lot that you get in a demo. Um, I imagine you complete the demo once you collect all the chests and all, all the secret stuff. There's probably secret stuff that I've missed, more than likely. If there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, that is Spyro the Dragon, which brings us to the end of this demo. Oh, okay. Right. Glide, charge, jump, flame, run and fly through over 30 breathtaking levels. With a little bull in the corner. Collect treasure, discover hidden levels, and learn about Spyro's world from giant real-time animated dragons. Some, anyway, in this demo. Take a journey with Spyro, the biggest little hero to hit the PlayStation in 1998. Yep, you read that right, folks. 1998. Oh. And we're back on the title screen, which does now bring us to the end of this particular demo disc. Now, I did do an outro for this, um, but I'm going to do it again because obviously, as you know, this is re-recorded. This was demo number 39. This is the last um, demo that we're playing on it. We have gone through Tomb Raider 3. We have done Spyro the Dragon, Buster Groove. We did Future Carp LAPD, which was... It was, it's either Spyro that we just played, or that that was my favourite on this disc. And um, what else did we play? We played Colony Wars, that's a no from me. We played um, Sentinel Returns, which was the last video without the camera footage. Even with the camera footage, that game was god-awful. Awful game, terrible. Even though it had John Carpenter's name attached to it. I was not a fan. It was absolutely... I'd, I still don't know what it is. I'd love to know. I'd love to know. The video technically hasn't gone up yet for me, so I don't know if anybody's even told me. But that brings us to the end. Thank you to um, Beelzebos um, for um, recommending this particular one as they left it in my medieval um, video, which you can check out. Um, it's my medieval playthrough, which was uh, a demo disc that I did, uh, which was number 38, I believe. It's the previous one to this. But uh, yeah, thank you for that suggestion. This was a really good demo disc. Really comprehensive and solid. Um, we did play Mahjong as well, which was quite fun. And I really want to just keep playing Mahjong because it's completely, completely addicting. But Spyro the Dragon. What can I say about Spyro the Dragon that hasn't already been said, already been said over the past, over two decades? <sighs> it's a long time. I'm getting very old, you know, getting very old. Uh, but it's really fun, and that is a solid demo for Spyro the Dragon. But that's where I'm going to leave that, and that puts us to an end of number 39. Which demo disc to play next? Hmm. I do have my next playthrough ready. I think. I think I've decided the right one. I have been saying previously in this episode. But it's a classic for the PlayStation 2. And I'm going to give it a go. Never played it before. If you want to see that, you got to stick around to check it out. you got to hit subscribe. you got to hit the notification bell to stay notified. I play demos like this all the time. It's one of my main staples on the channel now. It's that nostalgia from PlayStation Magazine from back in the day. If you want more nostalgia like this, you want to see more PlayStation 1 demos, uh, then you've got to hit subscribe and click the notification bell to stay notified because I'm playing them all the time. And got to keep up with the nostalgia because I'm coming at you thick and fast with that kind of thing as well as a brand new playthrough now that Toy Story 2 has ended anyway if you did enjoy this episode then it does help me out a lot to give me a like a thumbs up on this video I hate fishing for likes but it does help the channel a lot so if you could do that it's easy it's free helps me out a lot but more importantly remember to always take it easy